Neo has been one of the most successful companies in the EV manufacturing industry. The kind of technology being used by them has, for a long now, been desirable to people worldwide for a long time. One of the most significant factors that played a massive role in their success is the support they've been receiving. For a long time, the Chinese EV manufacturer has been working on new technologies that can make them many sales in a given period. This plan has also been working out well for them, which we'll see in this video. Stick to the end and you'll get to know all the numbers associated with the sales and figures of January 2022. Welcome back to another video on this channel where we speak about the NEO delivery numbers update for January 2022. The success of NEO need not be specific anymore. With the increase in the adoption of EVs worldwide, there's been an increase in the number of sales that each of these companies has been making. Many, among all others in the competition, NEO has been able to overtake others by inducing technologies that have long been desirable. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to know more about what's happening in this industry. Turn on the post notifications and comment below your favorite model. Let's get through the more important things first. The total number of deliveries in January 2022 saw an increase of 33.6% on a year-over-year -year basis. This means that the total number was 9,652 units. This was the total number delivered by them in only the month of January. This looks like a decent start of the year for them, and it seems like there may be a significant change in how we see them working a few more months throughout 2022. Within this month, the company could also achieve 176,722 units. This means that there are already more than 170,000 units of NEO EVs on the roads and doing what they do best. This shift in technology and the concept of travel is rapid. This rapidity and transformation has also eaten up a lot of competition as many unknown companies failed and got diluted. On the other hand, NEO is able to hold on and be one of the best contenders in the market for EV vehicles, and their sales and delivery numbers are a witness to their success. Now having come into this sphere, let us look into the splits of these numbers and analyze the models being sold the most. From the numbers, it's clear that NEO was able to sell 1,531 ES8s, 5,247 ES6s, 2,874 EC6s. These are the company's 6 or 7 seater flagship premium smart electric SUV, its 5 seater high performance premium smart electric SUV, and its 5 seater premium smart electric coupe SUV respectively. This was not the end of it. The company also came up with another vehicle which was launched exclusively for Norway in 2022 January. This was also the vehicle that was provided with the feature of firmware over the air update outside China. Earlier this feature was only available within China. It is also important to note that the operating system of this vehicle, which is called Aspen, is based on the NEO Technology Platform 1, otherwise abbreviated as NT1.0. The firmware over the year update has been working really well and could be provided over a million times in the previous year. So this also establishes the stability of the technology being used in the company. Furthermore, through the same, they could also introduce a total of 199 new features and 401 enhancements in the existing features. So as you saw, the numbers already seem to be crossing the roof without any doubts or serious concerns. With things flowing smoothly in this sector, they started diverting their attention towards the power, sales, and service networks throughout all venues of operation. This was also accomplished well as they could erect 836 power swap stations along with 3,766 recharging stations throughout all venues. They could also establish 55 service centers to take care of all essential needs of the users. In China alone, there are over 180 sales centers, and the infrastructure is sufficient to cater for the demands that may come out as a result of further expansion. The company has been looking forward to making more sales and being the best in the segment in terms of all requirements that may come up when it comes to EVs in the market. It's important to consider the technology that's being implemented by them. The earlier mentioned firmware over the air is an essential technological implementation that could help make the vehicle smarter than what they already are. To add a cherry on top, it will also be possible for the users to tackle minor issues by simply resetting or making form of prescribed alterations in the updates being provided. The constant updates, which went on to 1.3 million updates to be precise, provides a very important element as well as for buyers to purchase a NEO. This is the element of security and ensuring that the data and other features of the car don't get hacked in any manner. Since the car is heavily dependent on the software, it's important to ensure that the software stays healthy throughout the lifespan of the vehicle. This will be a significant part of the expansion project as well. 
based on the numbers that have been published for the month of January, we can be certain that they will further increase the number of updates as a lot more people are now out there in the world, driving a NEO on a regular basis. While the company seems to be prospering in terms of technology, let's now look at the numbers and see how they stand when it comes to the international market, and more importantly, against its biggest competition, Tesla. Perhaps before we speak about Tesla, let's get you started with the XPeng. XPeng was able to deliver 12,922 vehicles in the month of January, and as a matter of fact, they fell down from 16,000 deliveries that were noticed in December. When it comes to NEO, as we mentioned earlier, it was able to deliver 9,652 vehicles in January 2022. However, in December 2021, it was able to provide 10,489 vehicles in a month. So this means that all the while when we were appreciating the technology being put in by them, there was a certain point in it which in fact led the sales to fall down a bit. Tesla on the other hand has one additional hurdle to cross. This is the fact that it will not be able to make the best impact on China which is one of the biggest markets for them. While the market went down by 3.3%, the share prices went up by 10%. Though this is a weird indication, it comes with a certain set of events that could happen in the times ahead. The start of 2022 has been pretty rocky for Tesla as well. The fact is that the entire EV industry seems to be going through a lot due to the fact that there is a certain amount of ambiguity as to what may happen in the times ahead. The dip is real and the chances are that we'll see a recovery pretty soon. The truth however is that a lot about the EV market and sales is determined by efficiency. Hence, the run that both these companies, perhaps all of them, will have to make is for efficiency and to provide for a longer range in their systems. Tesla and NEO both have their own advantages and disadvantages. The weaker point that Tesla has, which cannot be changed or altered by Tesla, is the fact that it has great competition from China, which has good support from the local authorities and the Chinese government. The Chinese market is also very huge for EVs, which they're not able to access in the best possible manner. Now, there's another perspective that could be applied here. The Chinese New Year plays a major role in the delivery of new cars. This means that the inconsistency may even be noticed till February and chances are that the figures may climb back up in the month of March. A similar dip in sales was noticed in the month of October 2021. That month, a fall of over 65% was noticed on a month-over-month -month basis. The dip that has been faced this time is in fact just an 8% fall in comparison to the sales that were made in the month of December 2021. On average, starting from the last financial year, the average of sales stands at around 8,246 units. So, it is nice to know that the sales right now is above the average that's been recorded for NEO over the past financial year. Now in comparison to the sales that were made in January 2021, the number of sales has certainly gone up. This number has gone up from 7,225 in January 2021 to 9,652 this year's January. So as you saw, the figures are proving well for NEO. It's important to look at these things on a longer run to ensure sustainability and an optimistic investment. The company has already proven its worth through technology, the next thing it needs to achieve or even higher numbers. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to learn more. Comment your views in the comment section below. We'll meet you again in the next video.